Hi everyone! It's Kika and Valint. Think of a place that has the most beautiful marine life. Also looks like a different planet. Let me help you. Pyramids? We spent 10 days traveling around Egypt. And it has so much to offer. We have been diving in the Red Sea, visited ancient cities by the River Nile, and spent a few nights with Bedouins in the middle of the Sahara. Let's start the trip. After Urgada, we straight headed to Marsalam. It's a more remote location, perfect those who want to dive in the Red Sea. It's also not very far from Luxor, which was our next destination in our trip. We went in January and I was surprised the water was still perfectly refreshing. We are not typical resort people, but in this area that's the only way to go. It's very affordable, beautiful, it's a perfect way to chill before you go to dive. The first dive spot was right next to a hotel, which is perfect to refresh our diving memories. We started with practicing the known signs. It was an easy dive, but we still went through some caves, we saw some beautiful marine life. It was a great warm up for the next day. We wanted to have a chill evening after this, but it was New Year's Eve. The next morning we were not fully rested, but we were excited about what we are going to see in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is famous for its dye sites, but actually the most interesting creature you can see by snorkeling. This curious mama is the sea cow, the dugong. This creature is very rare these days, and this is one of the unique locations where you can meet them. It looks like it's not only the tourists, but also the fishes that are interested in the gongs. So probably they used to the crowd. Diving here was something special. Even better than what I've seen in French Polynesia. Beautiful and healthy corals, very lively marine life. For advanced divers there is even better locations, but we were very happy what we have seen and went content to our next location. Our next destination was Luxor. We took a 5 hour long drive through the desert. We were surprised about the quality of the road. It was just perfect. We had a few military checkpoints on the way, at the end went completely fine and we enjoyed the multiple colorful trucks that passed next to us on the road. Luxor is located on the eastern side of the Nile. Most people stay here in one of the nice and fancy hotels, but we had an idea to stay on the western part which is an agricultural local place and we found a very affordable Airbnb in the middle of a banana plantation. After the beautiful sunrise, we decided we are going to discover Luxor. And on our first day, we didn't want to see the ancient Egyptian sites. We wanted to get to know the vibe of the city. So we crossed the river Nile, the easiest way, by a boat. Luxor has a nice, vibrant, authentic vibe. And of course, it's full of the typical local merchants. They need me tomorrow, me some bride. Go and back. The Hawaiian t-shirt? No, thank you. But of course, we also couldn't always avoid the traps. The taxi driver was very friendly, super nice. He took us to a local food market, which we really enjoyed. Thank you. And then to an authentic restaurant, where we had an amazing food. Mm. <laughs> For the second night, we also couldn't resist the temptation to stay in one of the nice hotels. I had this interesting thought that the ancient Egyptians were looking at the same sunset view as I'm doing right now.
Next day we started at 5 am crossing the Nile to go for a full day excursion, starting with a balloon ride above the Valley of the Kings. I felt like in an Indiana Jones movie above all the Egyptian sites. Soon also learned that you cannot really direct where the balloon is going to go, you are exposed to the wind. We ended up on a sugarcane plantation. Happy landing. The farmers were pretty fine with it, very friendly. Probably they are used to this kind of random landings. <laughs> I've turned into a gorilla. And we met our guide Hassan. He was passionate and very knowledgeable about ancient Egyptian history. So I asked a lot of questions, but they were all answered in the Valley of the Kings. The Valley of the Kings was simply awesome. You can spend here a lifetime. We only had two hours, which was just enough to discover the major tombs and get a good feeling of the place. Then we headed to the temple of Queen Hache, ha, Hachepsut, it's not easy to pronounce. You can try it yourself. The Queen made a good choice. The architecture, the environment was all very beautiful. Who's your Queen? It started to get pretty hot, so it was a perfect time for a lunch close to Memnon Colossi. Then we headed to the East Bank in the city center to see my favorite temple. <laughs> Hello guys, thank you so much for late. My name is Hassan. We are in one of the most important city in Egypt, Luxor. And we are in a one of the nice temples, the biggest temple in Egypt, Karnak temples, in the greatest Hippo style pylon group of 134 pylons. One of the great work for the ancient Egyptian. And we are very happy that we meet a good and new friends. That is the last person. Hope that you enjoyed it the day. Hassan, if you're watching, thanks a lot. After this tiring day, the only thing we had left is to have some drinks with some local friends and teach Hungarian. Wow! The first part of our trip in Egypt was beyond expectations. The Red Sea was beautiful, Luxor was both cultural and the history lesson. But now we were looking for a change. And we did something that is not very common. We went to the Sahara and we spent two nights with Bedouin in the middle of nowhere. Our next destination is the White Desert. Come and join us. Thank you for watching.